Now I'm from Florida, so that's where I started my trip. And if you don't know that much about Florida, you probably still know that it's hot. It's hot enough that every night you definitely want some air circulation, if not downright, a generator for AC. Florida is basically one big swamp, so clearly I wanted my windows open as much as I could while I was down there. Now there's another thing you should know about Florida. It's that there are bugs everywhere. It's a tropical paradise for those little fellas. Now, I myself am not a huge fan of bugs in and around my living area. By now, you may see my dilemma. I have the need to breathe, but I also have the need to not have bugs crawling on my face at night. And if you have lights on, bugs will want to come in. So it's time to get to Home Depot. I got the magnets, but they didn't have the Gorilla Tape I need. I need the white one, and they only have the black one in uh, extra wide tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop over to Lowe's that's right over here and uh, pick that up. Now, Gorilla Tape is magic. Half of this van is held together with either Velcro or this magic Gorilla Tape. It's stronger than duct tape, and I think it looks a lot nicer. I've seen it in black or white, and there may even be more colors, I'm not really sure. They should be sponsoring these videos at this point. Now, all we need is some mesh screening, and luckily we have some leftover from making those foam cabinets in the previous video. Except this time, we're, we're not going to paint them with sealant, we're going to use them for a more common purpose, as actual screening. Going to take these off and uh, put this underneath and screw it back on. You can do that all the way around, and then uh, for this window thing, probably have it go through here and come, so it'll be like that without wrapped around this. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because they would never... Some Gorilla Tape right there, and then we just put the washer back on. And then in between each screw, we place one of the super magnets so that no bugs can weasel their way in through the cracks. The tape here helps keep the screen from ripping more after being pierced by the protruding screws. Any place you pierce, you'll definitely want to cover it around with uh, this tape so it doesn't unravel. And this part's important. As you can see, I measured the screen to have it taut when the window is opened. So when it's closed, there will be a bit of slack. If you have it tight when it's closed and you try to open it, it's going to rip. It's important to be able to keep this window open for ventilation. The roof vent that I have can blow outside air into the van, but it works even better with cross ventilation in reverse. So we open up the window over here, and we open up the fan over here, and we get the cross ventilation. Instead of pumping air in, we suck the hot air out of the van with the vent, and it goes much quicker and gets much cooler if there's a source of new air down the line, namely this window. And we also get to hear all the background construction noise because they're building a house over here. Overall, it's a great little setup that's really helped me out. And you can see the results. Just after a little while, you can see some of the little dudes caught in the screen. It's easy to just take a brush and clean it off. And it's way better that they're in the screen than inside the van. <laughs>